everybody. It's Tyler here at Speedway, checking in 6210M Meta Mafia. This robot is really cool. I had a chance to watch it earlier today. A lot of great things that are going into this that we'll cover here on this Bits and Parts. Uh, multifunctional hood that we'll be talking about. They have a great sensor uh, that stops it in there, but there's a lot of cool aspects that go into this. And we'll be talking about some of the improvements this team has made. Already with three tournament champion ones under their belt, some excellence, some skills as well. So congrats on a great season so far and looking great here at Speedway as well too. So let's learn more about this team and their robot coming up here on Bits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grill Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Aiden, lots to break down with this robot here so far, but let's talk about that multifunctional hood and some things that make it special, and we'll hop into a couple other things. All right, sure. So this hood is actually really special to our robot because it serves three different functions. Uh, it help, both helps us descorp, holds our blocks, and also helps push these blocks in further into the goal. So it, actually, if you look at this hood, uh, you can see that right here, there is a uh, little slotted piece of metal. And what that allows is it's uh, both pistonized and also floating. So when this comes up and it's pistonized here, it sits right about there, but it can also still freely flow up and down there. So when we intake a block, we'll see it sits there, but then when we push this hood up, it will push those out like that and it'll float up like that. Um, another thing is that also when that's like this, <clears throat> um, those blocks do come out like that. But then also it sits flat like this, and that's about at the level where it can push the box. So what we're able to do is quickly score, drive off a little bit, and then push back into that goal, and that helps us uh, de-score a lot. Uh, also, if you saw it a little bit here, but when we intake a block, it actually, that acts to hold those blocks. So we can intake all eight of our blocks in our intake and just hold there. So these standoffs here um, just allow that. And that's just done with a rubber band here that just pulls down and a little bit of pressure to hold that in there. What does some of your match strategy look like typically as you're going, especially here at Speedway, mm -hmm. where the competition's so tough? Uh, break down a little bit of that for me. Yeah, so we've actually noticed that a lot of our strategy relies on our hook here. And what uh, we've seen a lot of is that actually, you're not scoring a whole lot of blocks. You're not filling the goal up with all 15 blocks. Because uh, what happens there is another team can come and pull those through and put their own blocks in really easily. Um, so what we've actually been doing today is scoring our three to four blocks in Auton, and then pulling them through in the center goal um, with our hook here, and then just defending that. Because the only way for another team to come uh, grab that control bonus is to put their own blocks and pull through there. And that's actually a lot easier to defend than, say, a full goal of your blocks where they can just put their hood in, or their hook in at any point and pull through their goal. Yeah, sometimes less is more. And I think yeah. as this, uh, especially the gameplay meta has evolved, we're seeing more and more of that uh, here in pushback as well, too. And then from an alignment standpoint, how are you guys aligning and actually getting up to the goals? Yeah, so we have a really big triangle aligner here, and that fits to the shape of the metal legs on the goal. And what that allows us to do is basically come in from any angle on the goal. It's really useful in Auton, but any angle from the goal and hit, uh, get straight on with the goal and be perfectly aligned so we can just score immediately in the goal. Um, and then we also use it in skills. So in our skills uh, matches, you know, you can get all, a little bit off the heading, your distances, but with this, we have probably three to four inches of margin of error on each side. We're allowed to, or we're able to still align to that goal. Has your team done anything to try to improve like scoring on the mid goals at all? Um, so yeah, actually we have an aligner for the mid goals too. And that's just a piece of plastic with, uh, it's similar to, uh, to a V um, where it just aligns along the center of that goal. And since, since there's no metal, obviously we can't do the same thing here, but you can kind of use the uh, actual plastic goal itself to, as like a V aligner, kind of like how you would last year with the poles. Pass over Dexter talk about uh, a few other things on your robot. Starting out with your uh, match loader, let's break that down for me. And a couple of great things, especially with your double park too, I'd love to hear more about that. Yeah, so for our match loader here, we've gone through a lot of different kinds of match loaders. We had standoffs, but we just really like this uh, kind of like flexible, this sheet of plastic. We just go right into the match loader, the sheet just comes down and the uh, blocks roll right off. We band it up, we band it in place so that it can move both ways but then it just comes right back to where it sits, just just high enough to where the blocks roll into it. And then we have this V cut out so that when if a block in a match loader is kind of like where this diamond side is, it just fits right in there and it can still pop it up and score it in. And then we have these standoffs on the side 
so that the blocks can only come one at a time. And that's really helpful for skills when you're like intaking six at a time. And then kind of on the double park, we use, um, sorry, we have air. It just pushes, we, ha we have our own tank on the air and so it pushes down and it can push us off the block. And we do this and it works really well. We te detect the block through this um, distance sensor here. And as soon as something is closer than 10 inches, we just shoot that down and that helps us just get off the ground. And then we'll be on the, we'll be off the park on the back. So we just have to have about two inches on that barrier and then we hit that button and we're double parked. What's the time you look like for you in that as you're getting down to the match? Are you trying to do that for 10 seconds or how long for you? We usually try, we've probably hit it about four or five times in total, but we always try to usually hit it about five seconds left in the match. Because if you try to do it too much early, you'll just lose because they'll just de-score your entire goals. So we really like it because he doesn't have to think about like, oh, I have to hit all these buttons, I have to get it right in the right spot. He just hits the button, keeps on backing up, and it just pushes you up in your park. That's a great set of macros you have for uh, sure. Uh, wrapping on this, are there any other sensors you want to highlight on this for a while? Uh, kind of one more programming thing, back to the hood. Um, we have a color sensor, and we check the motor. We check the motor wattage, and if the motor wattage is like below zero, so basically it's got some friction on it, a cube right there, they'll just stop the hood. So if you can see it right here, this is no longer moving. Even though we're still telling it to move, it's no longer moving because it can detect there's a block here and it just stops. Meta Mafia, this is a really cool robot. Thank you so much for uh, telling us more about this. We, of course, wish you best of luck here at uh, Speedway. A lot of great stuff that go into this and a great season already for your team. So good luck the rest of the way and thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.